Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can temporarily deactivate your Instagram account. Let's launch the app. You want to click on your profile image down on the right corner. Then you want to go up where the three lines are. You click on the three lines. Then you want to click on the settings and privacy. Then you want to click on account center. Then you want to click on personal details. <clears throat> and then you want to click on account ownership and control. Here you can actually deactivate or delete your account. Remember that you have to download all of your data if you're planning to delete your account. If you just plan to deactivate your account, you can just keep your information without losing it. Subscribe and come back for more. Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can temporarily deactivate your Instagram account. Let's launch the app. You want to click on your profile image down on the right corner. Then you want to go up where the three lines are. You click on the three lines. Then you want to click on the settings and privacy. Then you want to click on account center. Then you want to click on personal details. <clears throat> and then you want to click on account ownership and control. Here you can actually deactivate or delete your account. Remember that you have to download all of your data if you're planning to delete your account. If you just plan to deactivate your account, you can just keep your information without losing it. You're going to want to upload mostly weekly, okay? you If you upload daily, that's a big standpoint, but I would definitely urge you to upload weekly, like at least three to four videos per week or three to four, you know, engaging pictures per week. Then make sure to sign up for the verification badge uh, because meta verification is pretty important as well. Once you do that, make sure to do a little marketing, okay? You can do marketing through um platforms like shopify and uh, there's different social media marketing platforms as well you can also try to pay people on fiverr and linkedin to market for you to improve your seo and last and final thing is to sign up with the actual meta business center okay so you're going to come to more you're going to click on settings and once you do that you're going to make sure to go into your account center and make a professional meta account and start campaigning over there because that will help you tons okay how to grow on Instagram. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great. In this video, I'm gonna be quickly showing you how you can grow on Instagram. So basically to grow on Instagram, you need three things. First of all, a theme, an algorithm, and thirdly, consistency, okay? So first of all, you're gonna need a theme for your page. So as you can see, I have my page over here and my page is solely drum related, okay? So there's a lot of drums, there's a lot of drumming going on. Uh, you know, drums here, drums here, drums here, there's drums here, drum covers everywhere. So, you know, there's just consistently drum covers. So, you know, there's a drum theme going on. See? So, I have followed a whole drummer theme. So, you're going to want to follow a theme for yourself. Now, once you follow that theme, you're going to need to go according to the algorithm. So, whatever's more in nowadays, you're going to go with that. So, let's see. So, there's, you know, songs like Are You Mine by Arctic Monkeys. This was pretty famous, so I made a cover on this. Change by the Deftones was pretty famous, so I made a cover on this. As It Was was very famous back in the day, so I made a cover on that. And Black Hole Sun by Soundgarden was pretty famous, I made a cover on that. So, you know, just keep on going with the algorithm, and you're going to obviously start going more. Obviously, you need to be more consistent with your uploads as well. So, just keep on doing that as well. And... Whatever upload of yours gets more views and recognition, do make sure to repost that every now and then so it can get you more recognition. Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to share with you the best strategies in 2024 to grow your followers and to grow your engagement on Instagram. Instagram had recently had its own updates, so things are a little different right now. Let me launch the Instagram app and give you a couple of examples. So first thing you want to understand is that there are big companies, media companies that are competing with individual creators on the same topic. For example, if you can see over here, this profile, it's a magazine which is focusing on surfing content, right? Everything about windsurfing content. And as you can see, they, they do have a very good engagement, although they have a very little followers with 25k followers. Uh, it's considered a relatively small account, right? But if you look at over here, the reels are getting millions and hundreds of thousands of views. What is this simply telling you? Well, now if you look at the individual creator and how the content is presented by themselves, I want you to compare this type of content with this type of description over here, which is almost none. 
There is no hashtag, okay? There is only two emojis and there is only one line of text. There's no hashtags, there is no taggings, absolutely nothing. Let's compare this with individual creators. So if you scroll down, this is individual creator, right? Individual creators are still majority of them using the old strategy, which essentially is a bunch of text, explanatory, trying to put up the whole size of an essay inside the actual description. But this doesn't mean it doesn't work. If you go to the individual creator, they do have over 600,000 followers, right? And this obviously work as well. The main point here is that you want to find the sweet spot, which is in between. You want to have content as an individual creator that is at least as good as the other creators, but is better than the actual magazines or the actual corporate accounts. This is something very interesting because with the recent updates now, you don't have to put hashtags anymore. Hashtags are, you know, just addition to the actual search engine optimization. You could simply focus only on producing amazing videos or photos. And I'm not just speaking of it. Look at the ads. This is a sponsored content over here. And guess what? They don't have any more hashtags inside. Are you wondering why? Probably because hashtags are not tolerated from Instagram algorithm in 2024. We're not going to see not only hashtags, we don't see any links, right? We don't see anything that is highlighting. We don't see any of these arrows order here by now. No, check the link in the bio. None of this is, is anymore here. How about this, like a fashion magazine? Well, guess what? They don't have any hashtags, even though they were participating in this Prada fashion show, right? They tag Prada. Probably this was part of the deal or they have to. Uh, but essentially, ne there is no hashtag Prada. Just look at over here. Bunch of views. Uh, if you go in the profile, they have over 300,000 uh, followers. So they have been in the game for quite some time, over 7,000 posts. So I want you to understand that little by little, big corporate firms are shifting towards posting and promoting like individual creators. If you look at this video over here, well, I could... Without looking at the profile, I could easily say that this video was taken or created or published by individual account. If I hide the name of the account, see that it's a magazine, right? I could easily say that this was somebody, you know, in the audience, a random person, probably a model or someone, a vlogger who is just reporting on this. The secret of success for them competing with you, the little guy, is producing the content which is not overly edited. Overly polished and overly edited content is the second thing that it's no longer working. People hate seeing this extremely perfect creation content with absolute proficiency and this and that, right? People now want to see uh, the content that is very natural. If you can do the life, the day in your life and promote products while doing so, this could probably be one of the best ads. For example, you know, if a BMW calls you tomorrow and asks you to do a brand deal with them, you're not going to dress up with suit and go to the uh, middle of Manhattan here in New York City and, you know, try to show the skyscrapers in the busy business lifestyle. No, you would rather, you know, put up your hoodie, your, uh, you know, North Face and, and whatever and go up in the mountains in the Hudson Valley. This is how you're going to promote the capabilities of the BMW. And you're going to make it with your iPhone. Guess what? This is how important it is to know the recent update of Instagram. No more hashtags, uh, no more, no more uh, the whole like 17 sentence in the description, uh, no more tax, you know, very, very exclusive tax only if the brand deal is require, requires this. Uh, focusing on the natural content, focusing on just one word sometimes. Sometimes one word could, you know, say so many, so much more than, you know, writing five, six, seven sentences in the description of the video. For more tips and tricks like this, guys, subscribe and follow for more. Hi, guys. In this video, I'm going to show you how to grow on Instagram using Rios. Let's jump into the Instagram app first. So, guys, I want you to understand the main concept over here. There is a two difference that you can actually use and grow on Reels. First thing, you have to do something interesting or you have to say something interesting. Okay, Reels game, it's no longer best editing video, it's no longer compilation video, and definitely it's no longer interview videos. 
and definitely it's no longer a video in which you can actually be you know mean or be aggressive it's what you actually say all these motivational concepts are very popular point number one what you say or what you do there are amazing videos how people are achieving amazing things you know a lot of these you know sport videos where people are jumping breaking world records or someone who is actually you know crafting amazing dish in the kitchen so what you can say or what you can do is what will get you ahead of the curve all the people who are trying to over edit you know they, they're just making so much uh, you know editing they're having a, a 30 seconds clip that they're editing three hours just to make a super edit with this you know crazy transitions this is no longer what works this was the old concept number one the second old concept was simply to use trending sounds this is no longer working on instagram reels uh, the third concept that a lot of people are still using and it's mind-blowing is that people are uh, utilizing like optimum hashtag like 30 hashtags on post like people are crazy instead of focusing on three to five hashtags and also instead of focusing on putting more content underneath the the video uh, explaining what is the video about and helping the algorithm remember you should not confuse the algorithm you should help the algorithm deliver your video in front of the right audience so in terms of you helping it make the life easier for the algorithm remember it's a machine it's not a human being the algorithm does not have a common sense so if they don't use a common sense you should give him prompts you should give him the exact sentences what is included and not included in the video okay so let's scroll to some successful reels over here let's look at this one click more do you see how the the successful post looks like one simple question obviously this is uh sponsorship because you can see the brand over here chorus global right cutting edge sport technology blah 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 but this is a brand deal you see how clean it is they simply have the watch over here vertex i don't know what this is as well but i want you to see the difference between this as a brand deal and this as a promotion which one would you choose this is very salesy, right? And it's also run like a sponsored clip. They pay the ad to Instagram itself versus you actually pay the, the, the creator and things look much smoother. Think about 1,000 people of the followers saw the video and the conversion is 0, 0 0.1. You're still going to get better sales than having this one. Me seeing it, scrolling it means nothing to me. I don't follow this account. I don't follow this jury stuff. So I'm just going to scroll, right? So how much retention do you think somebody could get from a video like this? Put it in front of the wrong audience, right? Nothing. <clears throat> so this is how you essentially utilize the two new strategy I shared with you guys. You want to make sure that you realize that it's no longer the best editing. Do you see? Is this looking like the best editing video? I don't think so. All we got to see is that point number one, what are you doing? It matters so much. And all the people who here underneath, right, are uh, liking, you know, viewing 100% snowboarding people, 100% people who are into winter sports, 100% people who are looking to plan their winter vacation. So this is how targeted you can go simply by creating the right content and putting it in the front, in front of the right people. It's very simple if you just use a common sense guy. Stop looking left and right. Uh, try to find some hacks to, to grow, you know, on Instagram. It's all common sense. And after you figure it out with the common sense, it's a lot of hard work. For more tips and tricks like this, guys, subscribe and follow for more. Hi, guys. In this video, I'm going to share with you a lot of tips how you can grow on social media in 2024. Things have been changing dramatically since 2021. So now we have another update for 2024. The first tip that I'm going to share with you guys is to choose your best type of content. What this even means. What is the type of content that you can create at the highest quality possible? And so far you've seen the best results. Is it the pictures? Is it the videos? Is it simply a text post? So defining this simply will define your best way to get viral on the best platform. If you're text based creator, if you just uh, write a viral text content probably twitter and x will be the best platform for you or medium if you're creating amazing pictures well 
guess what? Instagram probably will be the best place for you to actually join and publish and post and create and grow. Because remember, all these platforms are simply related to monetization. And number one source of monetization is always brand deals. So if you're one of the best in the niche, if you're one of the best on the platform, uh, if you're in top 1,000, right? Nobody talks about top 10 or number one. But if you're in top 1,000, you still have a very, very high chance to get a brand deal. Sure, you might relay on your own uh, digital products. You might be selling, uh, you know, transcripts. You might be selling stories. You might be selling digital books. You might be selling postcards, notebooks. You might be selling a physical product such as pants, t-shirts, hoodies. Uh, you know, the variety of products you can sell on your own is unlimited. If you're very good in making videos, probably TikTok as the short form content and YouTube. If you're making a long videos, explanatory tutorial videos probably will be the best place for you. So after you define what you're best at and when you choose the best platform to publish your best content, now is the time to build your own strategy. What I'm even saying. In this particular example, we are going to focus on Instagram because I believe there are a lot more people on Instagram at this point selling products. There are more people on TikTok making content but I believe the more money are actually made here on Instagram. If you look, majority of the people are actually now focusing on the reels, short term format, short format videos, which essentially gives you a very, very short lifespan. Meaning that if the video is not amazing, the next video is coming right around the corner, right? You don't have to wait for it. There is no ads in between. Nothing is interrupting you. It's not like the long format video on YouTube where in the middle of the video you will have three, four, five different ads which might actually distract you. So over here you want to focus and follow people that are already working very well, that are proved to be leaders, that prove to have a very strong opinion that is appreciated from the audience. You want to make sure that you understand why their opinion matters more than the opinion of other people in the brand or in the niche. And you want to make sure you try to find a way how they actually make money. I'm not saying that you should copy them. All I'm trying to say is that you need to understand what works and you need to understand this fast. As faster you do it, uh, the, the less time you should wait until you actually get monetized. Look what kind of brand deals these people have. For example, if I click on this guy, this is one of the best uh, windsurfing professionals, right? And if you look and if you scroll... And, you know, it's a pretty good engagement for this particular sport. This is not F, uh, F1, right, guys? This is a much lower uh, range of, you know, viewership and much less uh, targeted place. But if you look at what probably potential brand ship looks like, right, you might understand that, hey, you know, the brands that they work with him and they offer him sponsorship might be interested to offer you something if you're into this industry. If you have a similar vibe, similar audience, no one said that if the person that you try to, you know, get inspired from has a hundred thousand followers, uh, you should have a hundred thousand followers. Believe me, uh, in this area, I believe in Instagram, you can get the first brand deal in the range between five to ten thousand followers easily if your content is good and you have a good engagement. Good engagement. I'm speaking about at least ten percent of your followers are always coming watching your videos or liking or interacting with the posts meaning on 5000 followers you need to see at least 500 views on every reels or 500 likes and comments or at least shares on each of the pictures that you're publishing and this is in short how you can actually grow and utilize the algorithm changes in 2024 to grow on social media guys it's not only Instagram, it's YouTube, it's TikTok, it's Twitter. For more tips and tricks like this, guys, subscribe and come back for more. Hi, guys. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can grow fast on Instagram. Very easy, very simple, guys. Let's launch the Instagram app first. For example, you got to go after your passion. You got to go after particular niches and industries. What I'm even talking about. Well, guys, think about it. If you, for example, are into surfing, yeah, right? Let's say I'm, I want to become uh, a very successful 
team page creator on the surfing and i'm gonna sell a lot of print on demand windsurfing shirts and hoodies and accessories and stuff right so what i want to do i want to follow a lot of these people who are gaining a lot of traction then i want to go over here on each and every post and you know follow the people who are commenting most likely all these people are surfers and as you can see over here everyone is commenting and talking about the windsurf no one is actually talking about anything else everyone is talking about the weather the surf the the wave right so you follow all these people and believe it or not 30 to 40 percent of these people will follow you back so first of all this is how you're gonna gain a lot of new followers the second thing that you will gonna do is essentially you want to go to the profile of the person and you want to make sure that you know they have a very consistent posting meaning that they are publishing every single day if they publish every single day you have a chance every single day to gain new followers and new inspiration essentially you can start reposting their content on your page on your story and essentially you can create a carousel post what i'm even saying guys so for example i can essentially go over here right we don't want to share reels let's go over her pictures Let's say we want to share a picture of something like this right you want to repost this picture and then you want to create a brand new post with carousel you click on the plus sign and let's say for example we want to put her picture and then we're gonna select double square over here and we're gonna add three four different pictures with our products or we can add three four different pictures with with uh let's say weather conditions about surfing something about surfing like a quotes about surfing uh some overall you know generic images maybe you can you can get inspiration from pinterest but you want to make sure that you include in one of these carousel pictures one of your products okay and this is how you gain traction this is how you create the first community of already engaged people people that are already interested they already want to buy they already are into this particular niche all you gotta do is to offer them the great product and to first of all gain their trust and this is how you can do both things that i just explained to you in a very simple manner for more tips and tricks like this guys subscribe and follow for more